gonna make the leader bars. 2110, yeah. Give me some respect. Man, Brennan, I don't even know if I would have put yours on the piece of paper. You sure Small. that was a Tom? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a Jake, was it? Pretty sure it had the biggest spurs out of any of them. <laughs> First morning. What is it now? Fourth week, I think. Seems like it's gonna be a beautiful morning this morning. We're gonna get back on a little food plot back in here. Mike and Brennan have been seeing birds off this field here in the last couple mornings, so we're gonna slip in here. Maybe I see if we can get a successful roost hunt. We had that one coming about 40 yards. I don't even think Dylan could see him. We popped up over this rise right in front of us here. Seeing the decoys, I was like, nope, not happening. out on our first slap, you know, we ain't gotta get too wound up yet. It's early yet. I haven't even had coffee. <laughs> How much cream do you get? Oh, that was, that was a little heavy on the cream. Yeah, that was a little heavy on the cream. I'm gonna see what they're gonna do if they're just gonna cut down that gully and then still cross. That's a long shot. Dumped him. It's all in the hat. Good luck hat. Didn't take long today. This is the first day of fourth season here in Wisconsin and it's only like nine o'clock. We were actually gonna head back. We had a pretty tough start to the morning. I mean, we had birds all on us, all over the place, but uh, right off the roost one uh, skirted us and, and we were headed back to Robert's place there and seeing these birds out in the field and we had a blind uh, perfectly set up already so we just scooted around and slipped in there and it didn't take this guy 10 minutes and he was he was coming by us and he tried skirting us at like 50 but he didn't make it out so <laughs> can't be more happy I mean when things go right and uh, you're tagged out in like three hours of the season count that as a win so JP tagged out yesterday Robert's got to head back to Fleet Farm today to work for what, five day stint, Robert? Yeah. Five day stint for Robert. He's wore out. We've been running him hard. Mike and I have got tags. Let's see what we can get into today. Been following along. <laughs> We've got a bird up here this year that we call Osama. I think it's probably the first bird that we've named in six, seven, maybe eight years. It doesn't happen very often, but occasionally you'll get one that'll kick your ass so many times that you have to name them. And that's this one. Didn't help that someone else that has permission to hunt this property to the south winged him with a arrow first season so that's kind of made him decoy shy so we're pretty much hunting him like a 180 inch buck right now <laughs> just trying to get where he likes to be and mike and i both got tags we're gonna load the guns here and he's in a good spot for us to 
sit on the south end of the woods and hopefully he works right up into our lap. I was thinking 50. Then I asked JP, I said, what do you think? He goes, ah, 45, 50. Uh, I touched one off. And big old Schmitz. <laughs> Just stepped it off right at 60 yards. I didn't even touch the bird, I don't know. He looked pretty big flying away. <laughs> yeah. He's a big one, huh? You are the game changer we need, Jim. Yeah. Hopefully it's some good luck for you guys. Yeah. Throw some birds on the ground and get her going. It's been kind of a slow day. We actually took a, a few hour break here, tore some blinds down and it got hot out here today. So the activity kind of just shut right down. But clouds are starting to kind of come over this afternoon and it's slowly gonna cool off, I think here this afternoon. So we're gonna try, we got a spot here that Jim has permission on and we're gonna Trying to do a setup back here on this field. Birds are finally hitting the fields. We just spotted like three toms. There was a hen or two in the group out on this property we can hunt. We're actually gonna kind of come in at them from a different angle. It looks like they're wrapping around the field and they're gonna work into the back end of that field and we're gonna try and get around and beat them to it hopefully hopefully we can get set up there in time and get in a position where they want to head to Maybe we didn't get to these birds in time they're actually out on the field they're heading right at us so we're gonna sneak up to the edge with the dome and just at least get in a spot where we can hopefully get a shot at them when they come out on the field here That happened fast. We could have probably got a double to follow you. Yeah, I, oh for sure. You could have, you could have, I could have kept shooting when I got up. They were, they were all just standing there. Whew, he's got freaking huge hooks on him. Look at the freaking hooks on this bird. Those are gonna be close to my biggest hooks. I don't think he's 23, but he's, he's gonna break 20. Man, that happened fast. We came in. We seen, was it two or three toms out in the field? Three. Three, and some hens. And our plan was to cut them off. We've actually done a couple setups here this year. And uh, our plan was to get up here on this field edge and cut them off. Well, they must have been moving a lot faster than we thought. And we came about 50 yards from where we needed to get to. And they were already over the hill coming right at us. Um, so I threw on the dome, luckily we brought it with, threw on the dome and I just wanted to get over to the north here more and get in front of them when they got in the woods. Well, we went 15 yards and I don't know where these birds came from. They were up in here somewhere, but I popped my head over this rise and there's red heads standing 25, 30 yards from us. And he instant, instantly came into full strut and came right in on a string. I shot him at probably 15, 20 steps. 
Didn't get a lot of video of them because they kind of got onto us. It happened just so, so freaking quick. But what an intense hunt. Let's go get another one. What do we got going on right now, Jimbo? Uh, we're driving by here and uh, Osama's out on the field. So our move is we're gonna head back and then we're gonna go hit up the point and uh, see if uh, Osama is gonna come in range for us. We've been chasing a particular bird on this block all last spring, all this spring. We pretty much educated them to calling, decoys, you name it. So it pretty much became a deer hunt for these birds. And this point where Jim shot them was one of the spots that these birds frequently wrap around within gun range. So we just got there and uh, just, I mean, just perfectly timed it. Came right around 40 yards, Jim rolled them. Yeah, it was it was fast. I mean, he actually, when we popped up here in the woods, we seen him out in the field probably 300 yards or so, and he stuck his head up almost like he seen us back here, but I think we were in the shadows enough, he, did, he didn't know what it was, it was just movement. I almost think he probably thought it was birds back in here, and I think that's kind of why he got fired up and came this way. And Most frustrating sport, and it's the easiest sport. Some days you get your ass hit, handed to you, and the other days they just fall in your lap, and yeah. it's nice when the easy ones happen, for sure. Yeah, that was a textbook hunt, Thank for you. sure. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, another one on the board. That's Osama. He had them, them big red waddles. We got a new leader, Osama. 22. 11. New leader. But well, we got another one to win. Oh my god. I heard the saying tie. <laughs> 211. We slept in this morning, drove around. We seen quite a few birds that we probably could have messed with today, but we just let them be. Decided that uh, just gonna let them have five days to themselves and relax and that's going to kind of lead us into beat down we're going to get started probably saturday see what we can't pull together here to to finish off the season um i wouldn't say there's a ton of birds around but we're still seeing a, quite a few birds and it seems like they're starting to come out to these fields that were planted here a couple of weeks ago uh the birds are are starting to show themselves a little bit more so i think another another week of soaking is going to be good and uh hopefully we have a good hunt next weekend either way it's going to be fun Beat down 2021. We are making some burgers. We got a fish fry going on tonight. It's Friday, Memorial Day weekend. We got a few birds that are on the shit list. So we'll probably be after them this weekend as well. Jimbo. 
I'll kill the one on the left. Fire right now. Shoot him. Avoid Jimbo. One down in the cup pasture. We all decided to make the move to the cow pasture because we've seen two or three times here the last few days. We were here 15 minutes. Brennan called in the three times. They didn't want, they kind of hung up, so then I had the green light to take one and I took the shot and made a solid shot and nice bird. Mark shot a bird, Jim shot a bird. We're celebrating at McDonald's. Then we're heading back to the home turf, see if we can't find some more play with. We need to have a little regroup session. So we're going to go back to uh, Robert's house, grab some lunch, get back after it. You want to say anything new in your house? Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. What do you think of that? That's going to look good there. <laughs> after I win it. This was an interesting hunt. <laughs> Fast pace, action packed. Robert was actually supposed to be number one gunner. And uh, these birds, we got in here and uh, it wasn't five minutes after we got set up at this intersection that guy Jimbo put us on. And these birds came in, I mean, on a string. And they got to like 20, 25 yards from us, but they were to our right. Robert was set up to, to my left and the birds just hung up and you could tell they wanted to go the other way. So. Brennan told me swing the gun when I could and it all worked out, dropped this guy and Robert tried dumping the other one but he took out a sapling instead. <laughs> Morning number two. We'll be heading out here in probably 10, 15 minutes. We're all pretty tired yet. It's a long, long day yesterday. Conditions should be ideal. Mid 60s for the high. 
Supposed to be calm. Splitting up into three man teams again. See if we can uh, get something going. It's morning number two here at the Beat Town. We actually came here last night and we saw a real big bird. So our play this morning is we're going to be on this wood line. If he hasn't come into our decoys, we can use the woods and get out in the field even with them and dome them. <laughs> Roost hunts haven't really been our favorite in the years past. So if we're going to waste a morning, we're going to do it where we're going to take the leaderboard. Old girl thirsty. Thirsty. About ran her dry. Just got word that Mark's after a bird, so hopefully he gets himself a nice town. <laughs> We're gonna get us a nice breakfast sandwich. Jim's back up, and he did not hesitate to grab the gun, so <laughs> feel pretty good about multiple toms coming in now. This is, this is the first morning ever in beatdown history we got snow. First day. First day. Last day of the beatdown. Last day of the turkey season for us. Tomorrow is the official last day, but we're calling it after. Probably hunt until about noon today, and then the rain's supposed to move in. So we're going to hunt for a solid half a day, see what we can come up with. We're going to call it here. Great. Equally as excited to see it go. We're tired. You gonna make her half the day? Yeah, I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> you guys will be back here at 8 o'clock sleeping. No, so that'd be all right, too. I don't think so. I'm gonna go hard. <laughs> And that's how you make the beat go. Monday morning, the last day of the beat. After a, well, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, an ass kicker of a day yesterday. This bird we, we went after and uh, gave us the slip. 
we didn't really bother him too much, so we figured it'd be a good roost hunt. And well, I think I shot him a little bit after 5.30. All the hens came into the field and he followed. Wasn't too impressed with Dub, uh, Bubba here, so he came pretty close and we dumped him probably 25, 30. But yesterday after our pretty hard day, we were just couldn't get on the birds. This one was gift wrapped. Couldn't be more happy. We got bird number five for the beat. I think we're, our goal was six. Anything plus is a bonus. So uh, Brennan's up to bat this morning. Not sure how they're doing. Hopefully he's a red on them too. We got a flock of seven to go chase. Mance is up. We're gonna go chase him. It's me and JP and Jimbo again today. We slipped into a spot. We sat up here yesterday off the roost, but we're about 500 yards north of here. There are some birds roosted in this wood lot here over my shoulder. So we came in closer this morning. It's already pretty light. We haven't heard a bird. We got birds spotted. They don't want to go after them. So we might as well. Well, we had another fast hunt here this morning. Uh, we just dropped bird, bird number one off uh, back at the house. I grabbed my gun. I had a tag left here in my pocket. And me and Mark decided to do a lap over here. There's been a big flock of birds hanging here all, all uh, spring. And we just caught this bird out in this field this morning. Uh, we actually called the Brennan and the guys to see if they wanted to go after them. And they gave me the green light to, they were heading after some other birds apparently, but. We snuck in here. Um, this is a, a stalk we've never really done before. And you don't really got a lot of cover here, just these sapling trees. So I didn't know how this was gonna work. We came out to the field and he's seen the dome and didn't really wanna commit to it right away. So I tucked back into the woods, crawled about another 15, 20 yards closer to him and popped back out. And it was just enough to get into his bubble and he did not like it. And you could see he came in, came in for a closer look, came to about 15 yards and stuck his neck up and that was all she wrote. Uh, got a little bit behind a tree on the on the shot, but it was no easy film task for Mark. He had a lot of stuff to work around through here, but as you can see, he did a pretty awesome job still. Well, that's a wrap of spring 2021. We had a hell of a year, had a hell of a beat down. We ended up getting six birds down in two and a half days of hunting here. Uh, and honored to be the recipient of the first Breaking Spring Flatland Championship Trophy with my buddy Jim here. Uh, we split We split it this year uh, with 22 pounds, 11 ounces in weight. That was the biggest bird we shot out of the flats. And it'll be sitting on Pops' mantle until spring 2022. Did you spray your hat? I did, because it was too dark or too light. I didn't want to get seen, you know? Uh, yeah, roll. you wouldn't want to get seen with that big hat. So what I do, I ice fish all winter just to cook at the beat down. <laughs> <laughs> D slept in on us this morning. He was an extra set of hands. Good fish. Good fries. Good cheese. Good times. <laughs>